Here are the brand new Flex Super Glue. I'm so excited to try this out. Let's talk about what each package has. This first one right here are two one ounce tubes of the Flex Super Glue, and they retail for $4.99. This one right here is 0.35 ounces. And the cool thing about here, it actually has a paintbrush type style and that retails for $5.49. I do like the little tiny brush. As they say, it's a precision brush, so you can really brush things on and get it accurate. I like the idea of that. All right, so the other two bottles, they look the same. They're both seven ounces. They're both $7.99, except this one here on the left is a gel, so it's thicker. And then of course, the one right here is a liquid. I'm gonna open up these packages. We're gonna start this test, so sit right back and enjoy. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And as you saw, we are looking at the Flex Super Glue. It's a review that I'm really excited about. You know what? Enough talk, let's dig right in and see how this product does. I wanted to weigh these real quick. I do know that the 0.7 is the liquid and not inclusive of the bottle, but these are both said to be 0.7. The bottle looks exactly the same, so you know what? Let's see if they weigh the same. The first one right here is 1.1 ounce. Let's try the other one. Man, that is pretty spot on. First, we're gonna try the precision brush. And of course, the directions tell us one, to make sure the surfaces are clean and dry, and of course, free of oil or grease. Now we're supposed to apply the glue with the brush, holding whatever we're gluing on for five to 45 seconds, and then let it dry or cure for an hour. The directions do caution you not to let this come in contact with your skin as it will bond instantly. We're gonna do our best not to touch the super glue. Doing some decorating, pull out this nutcracker and see that the hand holding one of the drumsticks was broken off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the brush, brush around this entire area and hold it on for 45 seconds. We'll see how it turns out. Here goes nothing. We're gonna brush the liquid on all over this piece. That's a nice generous coat. And so now let's apply it to our nutcracker. Line it up, push and Hold, we're gonna count this out for 45 seconds and we'll come back and see how we did. We've been holding this in place now for 45 seconds. Let's let go. Oop, it's holding. Let's check back in an hour to see how strong that hold was. As I've been using the Flex Super Glue, I really am a fan of the Precision Brush. I think it's a great idea and definitely a home run. But you know what I think is even cooler that Flex did, and I'm guessing did it on purpose, Look at the wide mouth here, how large it is. I can actually take my Flex Glue liquid because these are two of the same things. This one just has the brush and I can use a seven ounce and refill this one completely up and keep using it because to be honest with you, this is the one that I'm gonna be using most of the time. The directions tell us that we're not using the Flex Super Glue. We should store in an upright position with the top securely on. Also, the room should be cool and dry. But we're not ready to store this away. We've got more testing to do. This is actually one of my son's dinosaur toys and you can see where the zip ties are. Well, the plastic actually broke off and so we had to try to do a little fix. It still works, but I'm gonna pop off these zip ties and see if we can glue that piece back All right, in. we've cut off our zip ties and we are ready to begin. Because this is a precision piece, I'm actually gonna use the one with the brush because I still want this arm to move even though this piece is broken off. So we have to be very careful how we glue this. So here's the plan. To get this to work, I'm gonna use the brush to glue this outer piece, maybe a little bit on this button or knob or that side as well, come up right here and then push the piece on. Of course, I have some zip ties to hold it tight. Here goes nothing, a little bit on the knob, Try not to get where I can't still spin the piece. We're on the outside there. Brushing it on the outside here. Let's get a little bit of this piece all the way up. Get some more liquid on there. Just brushing it on. Like I said, I like this part because now I know exactly where I'm applying it. All right, now for the hand. and snap it into place. I'm gonna put a zip tie around it so we don't have to hold it and get the glue all over us. We have our zip tie on holding us tight. You can see the crack is right here still. So what I've been doing is every few seconds, I'm actually moving the hand and that's because I don't want any glue dropping down onto where the pivot here so the hand won't move. 
I'm going to leave it on there for the full hour zip tide. So that's the 45 seconds plus the hour cure time. So tell me, what are your thoughts of the Flex Super Glue? Is this something that you would use? Have you considered it? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. We have reached the one hour mark here on our Nutcracker. It looks dry. It's been sitting there. I'm going to tap it a few times, see what happens. Let's see if we can wiggle it. You know what? It is on there really tight. Awesome. After that great success with the Nutcracker, I'm excited to check out the dyno. Let's make sure this arm still turns and it does. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the zip tie and see if we have a permanent bond. Now for the moment of truth, I will say I am a little nervous about this one because this is a piece that definitely needs manipulating to move back and forth. I am gonna put a little pressure here and there. Oh, you know what? It does look like it's holding in place. Wow. I mean, I'm putting some serious pressure on here. That is awesome. Now I'm going to try something extreme. And just like they said in their commercial, I'm going to give you a warning and don't try this at home. I am a professional. I've definitely put some safety measures in play. So without further ado, let's see how much weight our Flex Super Glue can hold. Now that we fixed a few things and proved that the Flex Super Glue actually works, it's time to have a little fun. We're going to test out my favorite part from the Flex Super Glue commercial when they lifted over three tons. Now we're not going to come anywhere close to lifting that because one, my scale doesn't go that high and two, well, I don't think it's very safe, but I am going to try to lift at least 200 pounds. Let's see how that does. On my test, I'm going to take two of these loop pieces right here with a piece hooked on the end. I'm going to sand this down just to get a little bit of texture here, plus try to get as flat as I can. I'm just going to use this sandpaper. I'll clean it up with acetone, and then I'm going to take some Flex Super Glue, the gel, put just a little dab here in the middle, hold it together, let it sit for over a day, 24 hours, and then we're gonna see how much weight we can lift. I know this is not as much detail as the Flex Seal people did and the amount of work they put in, but I think this should be enough, at least for my project. I'm kind of excited for it. All right, once I'm done sanding it, I'm gonna wipe it down with some acetone and let them completely dry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Flex Super Glue Gel, put a nice dot here in the middle, put the two pieces together, hold them now for 45 seconds, and then zip time together for an entire 24 hour period before we do the weight test. Here's a moment of truth. Wow, that gel is really thick. Let's see if it's coming down that tube. I like that it doesn't spill what, come on now about a minute and a half of just trying to get the gel to come down it finally comes out see how it comes out there like a little bit of a glue and it holds on tight i'm just putting that little bit there hook this together we'll see what happens i should say that the gel tells us that we only have to hold it for a maximum of 30 seconds as opposed to the actual liquid glue this is how we're going to leave it for the next 24 hours. I put a good deal amount of the Flex Super Glue Gel on here. I want it to fully cure before we put some weight on it. Here's my setup, but first I wanted to show you the cinder blocks. I actually glued those up over a year ago using Flex Glue and Gorilla Glue, and look, they're still holding strong. Here's my actual device. So I've got a scale there, which brings ourselves down to this platform, which is what I'll be putting the weight on. I'm super excited to see how this super glue holds. I should say the base and the chain themselves weigh about 23 pounds. I'm gonna put my piece right here, connecting it in. Man, let's try this out. Here's our piece. I actually made another one just in case um, this one didn't work out. But look, I'm trying to pull this apart. It is holding together solid. I'm excited to try this out. Here's how it's going to work out. The piece that we made is going to hook directly on here. And I'm going to hook the carabiner here on the bottom, which holds the chains and the platform. I don't know how much weight we're going to end up holding, but I have the 23 or so pounds supported by that piece. That is pretty cool. I'm also worried that the material that I use for my little connection piece might not be that strong. Only time will tell. Would you look at there, a little over 123 and a half pounds. Very cool Flex Super Glue. I added two more 50 pound bags. We we're up to 227 pounds and that thing is still holding. It's actually kind of hard to believe. I only ended up buying five bags of concrete because I didn't think I was going to get this far. 274.62 pounds are being held by a little drop 
of super glue. Now, wasn't that sweet? And let me tell you, it blew my mind that it even worked because I definitely had my doubts. In this video, we are taking a look at the Flex Super Glue. So what did I think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price, either from $5 all the way up to $8, depending on the type that you get. And of course, my favorite is the one that had the brush that was really, really awesome. This is my first test of the Flex Super Glue. I will be doing subsequent tests and comparing it to other super glues, but at first I am pretty impressed. I don't really have a whole lot of cons to talk about. Actually, I don't have any. I didn't even mind the price point. Um, I thought the product did a great job and it lived up to its claims. That's how I measure everything. Does this do what it says it's going to do? And the Flex Super Glue really came through. I like that it comes in a variety of different styles, either the liquid or the gel. Plus, as you know, I already like the brush absolute best, and that's the kind I'm gonna use from here on out. Anyway, that was my full review of the Flex Super Glue. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day. I did notice a little discrepancy between the directions on the back of the box and on the back of the bottle. The back of the box tells you to hold it for 5 to 45 seconds. Well, these two bottles say hold it for 5 to 30. And of course, the bottle with the brush says hold it for 5 to 15. I erred on the side of caution. Everything I used this on, I held it for at least 45 seconds before letting it have that hour of cure time. These three bottles back here all came without me having to cut it open or puncture the top, whereas this little tiny tube, you're supposed to puncture the foil here with the cap, but then always make sure that you put the cap back on and hold it tight after you're done using it. Also been using these for just about a week and it is important to leave them upright. See when you use the glue, it goes up into the tube. And of course when you leave it upright, it allows the glue to drip back down. Therefore you're not clogging the tube. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Flex Super Glue. You know what? In this video, I showed you those cinder blocks. That's for my Flex Glue versus Gorilla Glue challenge. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here and I would love it if you would check out this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.